Hey there guys, Black Panther here and welcome back to Drive Club once again. Today we are going to be showing you guys some drifting because, well, there's a lot of stuff that you guys want to see and drifting is one of the most requested things. Now, people have been having a bit of trouble as well, I've noticed in the comment section with drift events. So, I'm going to give you my tips and exactly how I go about it. So, I have actually got all the stars on the tour now, so I could show you an event from here. But honestly, they're a bit boring now that I've played them about 90 times to try and get all the stars. So today what we're going to be doing is going to the single event, we're going to go to Drift, and we're going to go to Norway. Now my favourite track to drift on in Norway so far, I haven't tried them all yet, is this one. I don't even want to pronounce that. So <laughs> we come to here, uh, set the time of day, is yeah. So we've got a small crowd on there because, well, we don't want to embarrass ourselves too much. <laughs> so we're going to jump into this event here. Which is, as I said, one of my favourite locations. Now, the only car that I've had proper, proper, you know, hardcore drifting experience with is this beautiful thing. So we're going to try this first and see how we do on this event. So let's jump into my club livery here. And we are good to go. So, the basic idea behind drifting on this game is the handbrake, throttle control... And turning basically like any simulation you've played like Forza and Forza not really simulation but you know it's closest closer to simulation than, than arcade uh, but Gran Turismo as well that's another one it's basically I would say honestly a little bit more difficult than those games especially because you can't tune cars and such but the basic idea is you drive up to a corner hit the handbrake change down and power on change up if you have to mid uh, drift sometimes you might need to change down and sometimes you will crash I mean it's almost impossible to not crash on this game when drifting I figured that out multiple times you will sometimes mess up uh, it's kind of impossible to really control where the car goes at some points but the, the basic idea is hold the handbrake hold the brake change down again if you must to keep the revs kind of going and keep powering and turning. Adjusting the front wheels until you get it right. That's basically it. It's very, very simple once you actually try it. So I would suggest actually trying this track. I actually learned a lot more playing this track than I did playing the campaign kind of tracks because it's just very simple and very easy to understand, I guess, because it's literally the same pretty much corner style over and over again. So easily one of my favorite tracks. So I'll give it one more go here. That one was a bit close, but you still get the basic idea of hit the handbrake, keep powering on and off until you get it right. Don't spin in like I did there. I'm doing worse on my next time through this, but you know what? We're going to try cockpit view. I've not been able to do this properly yet because it is so weird. Yeah, see? No chance of getting that. I'm going to try the last corner though because that's my favorite corner. See if I can actually get it in the cockpit view. Oh my god, I did it! I'm impressed with myself. I've not really been able to do that before because it's it's such a uh, an odd I don't know. It, it's such a an odd feeling when you're in the cockpit view on this game. A lot of other games you can really understand it, but because of the whole sense of speed that you get in the cockpit and the position of the vehicle and the the, the physics, it's really really odd to do it in the cockpit. But impressed myself so we went to Norway did a bit of drifting now we could go to Scotland but that's also quite cold because it's in the UK and it rains a lot so it's not really the same but I guess it's still cold India's gonna be quite hot Chile's gonna be quite hot and Canada's gonna be quite middle-ish sometimes cold so we're gonna go to you know we'll go to Chile because it's a completely different atmosphere it's like literally desert so we shall go I like the look of that track we'll go to the normal one though uh, keep the settings normal as we did before go to play so we could try the AMG GTS again I think yeah, we'll go for that because that's a car I have experience with and if you want to see any of the drifting videos in a different car You know let me know because I'm I really quite enjoy you know This is this seems to be like the only game where I can keep playing an event over and over and over and over and just never get bored of it it's it, I don't know it's a really weird feeling and I only ever really got that same feeling from, well, I can't really remember anything I've got it from except for this game. I mean, I've, I've kind of felt it from other games before, like the, the wants to keep trying. But 
this game. <laughs> I'm not getting anything, anything really from doing these events, but I'm not complaining. It's really odd. Oh my god, that was such a weird corner. It wants me to chain that. I have no idea about chain drifting on this game. <laughs> oh, I like how the camera went up then. That was a really odd course. I'm going to try that one more time. One more time. I'm going to try a few more times. I'll be here all day if I need to. I love the sound of this car. After driving this in the SLS, I'm not going to lie, I actually prefer how this drives. I'm not going to lie. That was way too weird. So you can see straight away that, you know, <laughs> because I'm not in my comfort zone course, it's completely new to me and completely different handling. I think this is a game where you really need to get used to the course. And that course that you get used to is, is just gonna, you're gonna remember it ever since, like for, forever after that point. But we're gonna keep going until I actually get a decent one on that, because that was absolutely terrible. Here we go, gotta get this first corner. So I don't wanna put too much angle on this corner, because we need to come out of it and kind of carry on drifting the next corner. There we go. No. That was still a bit too much, but. We got the basic idea of down, right? That was absolutely awful, but I, I feel that was... I, I understood the corners a bit more that time, but I got less points. Let's go again. See what I mean by this game being addictive? What other game would, would you get? Like, you get nothing from doing, because I'm really starting before I actually finish the event. Oh! What other game would you just continuously do this? It's one of those games. <laughs> and it's never been in a racing game like this for me. Like, never wanted me to keep trying and trying and trying. But that's one of my one of my worst yet. But as you can see, I'm getting a little bit better, like, with the corners and predicting where they are and such. So let's go one more time on this video here today. Absolutely stunning game. I have to mention that every single video because it really, really is. The best looking racing game. Probably one of the best looking games I've ever seen. Here we go. That was such a good corner to me, it felt like, but I didn't get many points for it. It just hits the wall and it pans away. Right, so that is that. We got 14,000 that time, so let's go one more time. I, I keep saying that. It's, I told you, it's addictive gameplay. So this is the time that I'm going to try to do my best here. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Concentrate mode 8 million. And I got worse that time. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't so great. But there we go, that's that's me doing the drift events. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy the drift events on this game. And I didn't do amazingly well on any of them. Except the first one, because I've tried that. I'm not going to lie, I've tried that event on, on uh, in Norway about 90 times. Literally on the first bloody day. But uh, other than that, this has been Black Panther. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you want to see in Drive Club next. I will be sure to show you guys. But for now... That is all. Peace.